Asian Americans are becoming less and less religious on paper. So let's talk about why. Yeah, we got to talk about this new viral Pew research study that has a bunch of infographics, a bunch of charts. The viral article is titled Rising Number of Asian Americans Report Having No Religion. And man, this is a big topic uh, because, Andrew, uh, Asian Americans were typically Christian and they were Buddhist, but both those religions have gone down. Not too many other religions have really surged, uh, surged up except religiously unaffiliated. Oh, all right. So we're going to go into uh, the comment section. We're going to go into some reasons why I think that might be. And then also our takeaways at the end. Please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. I know that we're talking about religion here. It's a touchy subject. It's personal to a lot of people. Again, you know, we've never, we're not, I've never talked about it in a disrespectful way. And we're just... We're just trying to be intellectually curious here, okay? We're talking about the study, guys. Um, and we're also talking about Smala Sauce that you can pre-order at smalasauce.com from Sichuan to Sicily. Mm. Andrew, what are your quick thoughts uh, about this? Because I guess you could also say that it's just a larger trend in America in general to be more religiously unaffiliated. And Asians are just fitting, it, fitting into that trend. But the Pew Research study also said that of all the groups in America, Asians were the least likely to say that religion was important to their life. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oftentimes, obviously, as we know, uh, there's a number of reasons for that. And these are just reasons that I think in my head. So you guys let me know. Um, I think a lot of Asian immigrants, when they come to America, they join churches for community and social aspects more than they do uh, spiritual aspects. So once they kind of graduate from that church or go to that church for some odd years, maybe they don't go back to church, right? Uh, also, I think, um, yeah, maybe there's a need, a less of a need for those like community spaces. Well, because there's more ethno burbs yeah. or more enclaves or more yeah. plazas, right? Uh, or also, obviously, if you're a recent immigrant from China, China is predominantly a non-religious country, so it's less likely that you're going to be religious. And even if you go to a church for social aspects, you are less likely to probably stay at that church. Um, a lot of the early Chinese immigrants, I can speak on Chinese, I believe were Taiwanese and Hong Kongese. So they generally leaned more into being Christian. A lot of the churches that I knew about that were Chinese based were either ran by Taiwanese or Hong Kong. More people. Western exposure. Yeah. Um, also, a lot of these Asian churches, let's be honest, are ran by the older generation. And that doesn't make it more appealing. Like if you grew up with strict Asian parents and then you went to church and you had more strict Asian parents running the church and then you went to Chinese school on Saturdays, for more strict Asian parents, that's some stuff that you would probably not want to lean back into. And you, I never even heard of a, like a modern temple. I'm not saying yeah. there's none, but like the, the Buddhist temples are pretty old school yeah. too. That's why any modern church right now that is gaining any traction at all, like has like different delivery and knows how to speak to the people of the generation and things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, generally the general movement of all Americans leaning away from church and religion a little bit. So I think the graph would look similar for the average American, uh, but I guess perhaps more for Asians. Yeah, I would say that Asians maybe feel less of a need to declare some sort of, uh, I guess like in a weird way to say it, like Abrahamic affiliation because mm -hmm. we're just not from the West. We're yeah. from the Eastern Hemisphere, so it's yeah. not like we feel like we got to pick a squad or anything. Yeah, like also, if you feel like that you need religion to, like, save your soul from, like, sins of your past. I mean, generally, a lot of, a lot of Asian Americans, like, they might not feel that strongly, so they might not need their, like, mm. soul to Did, be saved. It didn't perhaps. sin that much. So you didn't need that much forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, but Andrew, it actually breaks down per subgroup. Obviously, like many things do, Andrew, 56% of Chinese Americans and Japanese Americans were not affiliated with any religion. That was the highest amongst these subgroups of Asians. Three quarters of Filipino Americans are Christian, mostly Catholic. 59% of Korean Americans are Christian, mostly Protestant. Indian Americans were far more likely than any other large Asian origin groups to be Hindu. Mm -hmm. And Vietnamese Americans were the largest of any group to identify as Buddhist. Yo, hey, Filipinos, man, they known as the warmest and jolliest Asians, and they're the most Christian. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a correlation. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get into the comment section, and then we'll get into our takeaways. Somebody said, this is from a white guy, I think many of them just don't state that Buddhism is their religion because they treat it like it's just part of their culture. And somebody said, I'm half Asian. My Asian relatives aren't conscious or explicit about the religion, but they're practically Buddhist. This is an interesting thing, Andrew. 
you know, when something's a part of a culture for so long, it gets interwoven. It's also arguable that in a Western sense, Buddhism is not really a religion, but more of a philosophy about life. How much Taoism, Confucianism, Buddhism is just inherent to the Asian experience without being explicit over mind, you know, it's more subconscious. Right, right, right. Is it, is it just, I mean, I, I have friends who have like Buddha shrines in their houses, but they're like, you wouldn't even have a conversation with them about being Buddhist at all. Like, you know, it doesn't mean that they are. Uh, also, I know people who like, they wear maybe like the Buddhist jade, even with a cross, yeah. like they, fe they feel like it, it makes sense. And, you know, I think depending on the sect of Buddhism, because there are a lot of different types, then yes, it is very compatible. Uh, and it's not really seen as another religion or another, like, I guess, deity or like, you did know, you know, actually, Andrew, in the major East Asian languages or a lot of Asian languages in general, I had to look this up. There's no real direct translation for the Western concept of a religion. There's just no direct word for it. Because I just think that people in the East view things very differently than the West. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah, the histories it. are different. I mean... Somebody said, living in Asia for many years, I find that Asians have religion in them. Good is part of their being. Somebody said, yes, Abrahamic religions tend to war with each other a lot, even though they are so similar. Um, I will say this. In the East, it's a little bit more about like harmony, like yin and yang, and this is like an oversimplification, but definitely I noticed in the West, it's more about like good and evil, and when the evil comes up, the good people gotta come down and kill the evil people, even though killing's bad, so you gotta put some evil on the evil people, but it the, that makes it okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's how it's translated. That's I, how I, it seems, yeah, man. That's how it, that's how it is executed. Somebody sure. said... Uh, I don't know, man. The Asians sure believe in something. They believe in the white man, especially the Asian women. And that, that turned into a crazy thread. Somebody said, a sure sign of intelligence. Asians, they have better math and science scores, a.k.a. critical thinking, which would lead you to not be religious. Mm. Of course, um, Andrew, there is a big movement, especially, would you say, within the intellectual, like, uh, was it literati and stuff like that? To be yeah. anti-religious in the West, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, there is, like, less churches than there was 40 years ago, 100%, you know? So I think that that is something that is ongoing. Yeah, I mean, there is a... a uh, some people would say, like, an anti-religion movement, you know? Right, Richard Dawkins. Um, this person said uh, they're an older white person, and they work in the Boston area. She said she noticed that the older Vietnamese people she works with are very devout Catholics or Buddhists. The Filipinos were very devout Catholics, as well as many Hispanics. Um, how much do you think it varies between the grandparents, the parents, and the kids? Because it sure seems like the kids are religiously unaffiliated. The parents are 50-50. But if the grandparents were into a religion... They're about it. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the more generations you are in America, I guess as an Asian, you become less religious. I guess I would say, yeah. Somebody said to Asians, they are going to church for the social aspect, not the spiritual aspect. That's to your previous point. Mm -hmm. um, somebody said uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, Taoism are the best. And somebody said Buddhism is the best because it's all about karma. You do good things. You get good things happening to you. You do bad things. You have bad things happen to you. You can't just pray for forgiveness. It's more based on what you did. Mm. That's interesting. Um, oh, back to the previous point, Andrew, about people going for community and not the spiritual aspect. Do you think in 2023, it's much easier through the internet and a larger immigrant base to have community without the church? Yeah, I think a lot of Asians are finding comfort in a community outside of church. So maybe they're replacing that with going to church. So they're going to church less and instead they have their basketball league or online community. I do think Asians are heavily online. So maybe that is where they find their community. So really, you know, at a time when immigrants, they just needed to see each other because you know how like a lot of churches are like segregated essentially by ethnicity or tribe or background, right? So you would need to go to that church to just even meet and see other people of that. Saturday and Sunday, the most segregated. The yeah, club Saturday night. night and Sunday morning are the most segregated days of the what year. What does that say, man? When the most segregated days are the one day you're being the most sinful and the other day you're trying to be a saint. Um, so ultimately, funny. Andrew, what are your takeaways? Do you have any uh, quick thoughts? Like, it seems like this is a macro trend, but Asians particularly not on it. You know, particularly like feel comfortable being like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. religion is not that important to me. 
Yeah, I mean, I think that if you grew up at church and then you decide later on that you don't need it, you know, that's your own personal uh, opinion, of course. And I think that, but I do think that actually attending a church, especially for young kids at some point is somewhat helpful. Yeah. I think generally those environments are designed to be positive. Obviously, they're still ran by humans. Humans can make mistakes, but uh, as is anything, you know, like a school or a university. But like, yeah, I mean, I feel like that. Uh, I think that if you don't need it and you feel good about your life and you're good with yourself, then I guess so be it, you know? Yeah. Like, I guess maybe it's just speaking on how Asians got comfortable in America. Yeah. Yeah, that's very interesting. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. We encourage debate. Is this just an overall trend for everybody? Is it particularly strong for Asians? We popped up some of the charts. We couldn't even get to everything because there were so many micro stats and infographics. Let us know what you think. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.